Hi everyone, Matt here with the Maya Learning Channel. In a series of previous videos, Matt Harwood showed you how to connect assets like cameras, lights, and props between Maya and Unreal. You can click on the link on your screen if you happen to miss out on those. This plugin allows you to do things like control the camera, change lighting, or animate meshes in Maya while seeing those same assets update in real time in Unreal. However, one thing it didn't do was stream animation data to Unreal level or animation sequences. Well, thanks to an update to LiveLink 2.0, that's now possible too. So let's do a quick walkthrough of how this new workflow, well, works. First, make sure you download the newest version of the Maya Unreal LiveLink plugin and install it onto the same system that you have both Maya and Unreal installed. I posted a link to it in the description below. Next, you'll notice that we're on Unreal 5 now. While the interface is different, all the same workflows we showed in the previous video still work, so don't worry. However, setting up the link is a bit different. Now you need to load the Maya LiveLink plugin in Unreal, rather than the old LiveLink plugin. And once you do that, the LiveLink editor can now be found in Unreal's Window Virtual Production. Finally, you'll need to go to Source Maya Live Link to link your Maya session. Next, I'm going to disable autosave. This is to make sure that Unreal doesn't inadvertently save while Maya is in the process of sending it data, possibly causing a corruption. Now we're ready to start streaming. There's basically two ways to stream animation data to Unreal. Either you stream a light, camera, or mesh to a level sequence, or you stream a character to an animation sequence. In both cases, you'll need to use the Unreal Live Link Editor's new Link button. So for example, you'll see that I already have this animated character in Maya that I exported to Unreal using the File Send to Unreal function, making sure to enable animation and shape attributes on export, and animations, morph targets, custom attributes, and no zero value curves on import. To link them, I'll first open the Unreal Live Link Editor and add the character to the object list. You'll need to be very careful here to ensure that the root node you add to the list is the exact same one you exported to Unreal. For example, if I added this group node here, but had previously exported just the skeleton to Unreal, the link won't work properly. Once I click this button, I'll need to select an Unreal character for this to map to. Again, make sure that this character matches the one you exported from Maya. Even small differences in the skeleton hierarchy could wildly corrupt your results. And lastly, we can select or create a new sequence. In this case, I'll create a new one by typing in the path for it here and clicking Create. Now, if you do want to reuse some pre-existing sequence, once again, make sure that this particular character exists in that sequence. Now I'll select the sequence I just created, and click Link. Notice the Link icon turns yellow, and there's a progress bar as Maya starts streaming data to Unreal. And now in Unreal, I can double-click the new animation sequence that I just created, and you'll see the animation is there. You'll also notice there's animation curves here for the blend shapes I have running her expression, as well as a custom attribute, which we'll get into later. Now if I need to make animation changes or tweaks in real time, I can just switch the preview controller to the Maya Live Link preview controller. Just a note about blend shapes, while I can edit the existing blend shapes and watch the results just fine, I wouldn't be able to add new blend shapes and just have them appear in Unreal. For that, I'd have to re-export the modified character from Maya first, then set up the link again. The same goes for custom attributes, which are also supported in the newest version of LiveLink. You could use these to do things like trigger in-game reactions to specific parts of your animation, like a dodge or parry window to this character's downward slice. One other thing you might notice is that every time I change or add a new key, Maya stops for a moment to send that new data to Unreal. 
depending on the number of changes you're making and the complexity of the asset, this could get pretty annoying pretty fast. Luckily, there's a pause button in the live link window. Just click it to pause the data stream from Maya to Unreal. Then you can make a bunch of uninterrupted changes. Then unpause when you're done, and Maya will send all those changes at once to Unreal. Pretty handy if you ask me. So that about does it for the character animation workflow. The camera, light, and prop workflow is actually mostly the same with only a few small differences. For one, you would need to link to an Unreal actor instead of a skeleton, and a level sequence instead of an animation sequence. Also notice that, like the level sequence section down here, you can actually create new actors right in Maya to link to in Unreal. This wasn't possible with skeletons because they're just too complex. You can specify the path and name of your actor, as well as the type. In particular, it's useful to link to blueprint versions of actors since they'll give you the most versatility in Unreal. When you do this, you just need to manually set the static mesh since that doesn't get carried over from Maya. Other than that, these work exactly the same way as characters. Functionally, these are a little bit less strict than the character skeletons I showed you earlier. Especially for props, which have the same supported attributes, translate, rotate, and scale, you can actually link completely different looking objects between Maya and Unreal. This lets you do nifty things like use simpler Maya proxy objects to animate complex Unreal objects. Great for performance if your props are really complex. You can then use subsequences to view all your streamed objects at once. So that's everything you need to know about transferring animation data from Maya to Unreal using LiveLink. I definitely recommend downloading the plugin via the link in the description and giving it a try yourself. Until next time! Mm -hmm.